name on your paper. First thing. Okay, let's read those directions. Circle 10. Write the number. How many tens and ones? Okay, so we have fingers here. We need to circle 10. So there's a 10. And then we have five extra fingers. So how many does that make? That makes 15. So 15 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. Well, how many 10s do we have shown here? We have one 10. And how many extra 1s? 5. Okay, number 2, circle 10. You see 5 and 5. That makes 10. And I see 2 extra bugs. So 10 and 2 makes 12. 12 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. We have one group of 10 and two extra 1s. Okay, look at this. There is no pattern to this at all. It makes it harder, doesn't it? So we're going to have to count. one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm only circling the ten that I crossed off. I'm making a group of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So what's a ten and seven ones? That's seventeen. Seventeen is the same as blank ones and blank ten. Yikes, look at they switched it up on us down here. Instead of doing the ten first, they did the ones first. Hopefully you're not going too fast and trying to beat me because that could have tricked tricked you. So 17 is the same as 7 ones and the 1 10. You see how they flipped those on you? Yikes. Okay, this is supposed to be a bundle of 10. So we're going to circle that bundle of 10 and then I see 1, 2, 3 extras. So a 10 and 3 extras makes 13. So 13 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. So how many groups of 10 do we have? We have one group of 10 and we had three 1s. Okay, here's a crayons. Crayons has a group of 10 in the box. So here's a group of 10 crayons in the box, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra crayons laying out. So, 10 and 7 more make 17. 17 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. Go ahead and write your numbers in there. Okay, I'm going to flip it over to the back. If you're not ready, just pause it. Here's what it says on the back. Show the total in tens and ones with hide zero cards. Write how many tens and ones. Okay. This shows a full ten, so that's one part. This shows two extra beads. Now if we were to move the two up, let's pretend that there's 
zero up there, but it's taking this two and covering up that zero to hide the zero and make it a two to make it 12. See how it's doing that? So now it says 12 is the same as 110 and two ones. And one ten and two ones. Let's do number seven. We have a ten. We have one, two, three, four extra beads. That's gonna make a fourteen. 14 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. We've got 1, 10, and 4 extra 1s. Look at number 8 is going to try and trick you again. It does the 1s and the 10. They switched it. Okay, so we've got 1, 10, so we've got 10 there. And then how many extra beads over here? Not quite a full another 10. We're one short of a 10, so that's 9. 10 and 9. You hide the 0 in the 10 with the 9, it would be 19. 19 is the same as blank 1s and blank 10. So we're doing the 1s first this time. So we're doing 9 1s and the 1 10. Tricky, tricky. Number nine, draw the circles as a 10 and extra ones. How many tens and ones? It wants us to show 16. So how they showed us 19 and 14 and 12. Our job is to make 16. So I'm gonna do my five dark beads and my five white beads to show the ten and then how many extra beads will I need? So I've got ten on the string and I need Six extra. should be 16 is the same as blank 10 and blank 1s. Go ahead and tell me how many groups of 10 and how many extra 1s we have. Okay, number 10 it wants us to figure out how many we have here, and then show it um, using beads on a string and extra beads. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna group that ten. And then, how many extra ones do I have? So, I have one ten and two ones. And now I'm going to draw those with beads. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Group a 10, 
show, tell me how many groups of 10 you have and how many ones, and then show me what that would look like with beads on a string and then extra beads. When you're done, you can put it in the done tub. If you don't get enough time, you can put it in the to be finished tray.